my soccer viewers, and welcome to the final video of the weekend reviews. Now the focus is on Germany. I will add two more leaks uh, in there. I promised you Turkey, that will come soon. And then we'll talk also a little bit about Austria. I was thinking, shall I wear a luck jersey again? And I said, no. I finally should wear a German jersey to the Bundesliga, <laughs> where I focus on the Bundesliga. Even though I didn't see much of the Bundesliga, but I just managed to watch the highlights. Champions League is kicking off in about 15 minutes and I hope to get done uh, before that. I know you will get it uh, tomorrow. Uh, lots of storylines to be honest here. Uh, first of all, let's go to Turkey where uh, the big result was guessed yesterday that Başakşehir got the late win. Um, and made it 2-1 over Rizespor and uh, Kassim Basa beat Denizlispor 2-0. So Bajakshi here is now in the lead ahead of Trabzonspor and it's really every week you get something new. However, I'm looking right at you Galatasaray. You probably are the favorites at this moment. I uh, probably have to check out 5.30 uh, for more on that one. Bundesliga. As I said, I didn't see much, but I just was able to watch the highlights of the most important games. And Bayern Munich against Paderborn was one of those where Friday evening I expected Bayern Munich to roll over Paderborn. And when Gnabry made it very early 1-0 for Bayern, I thought that's done. 25th minute. No. Paderborn gets an equalizer through Srbeni. And... Even when Lewandowski in the 70th finally finds a breakthrough for Bayern to make a second, Mich Mitchell gets the equalizer. Very poor defending and Neuer did not look good on that goal. However, if you have the best goal scorer at the moment in Europe, although some guy in Dortmund might have a say about that, but Lewandowski at least looks like it. Best number nine. You're gonna win and... Uh, Another assist by Gnabry to Lewandowski. So Gnabry with three scorer points if you take the hockey. And Bayern gets away with one. 3-2 against Paderborn. Puts pressure on the opponents. Uh, Gladbach against Hoffenheim. Boy, there were many talking points in that one. Um, Gladbach took an early lead through Ginter. Uh, let's talk first about the game. Gladbach gets a penalty that I have to say VAR... Could not conclusively say whether there was a hand. There was clearly handball, but was it on the line, ahead of the line, or so on? Referee gave a penalty. Uh, which player steps up in the 75th minute and it is saved. Um, but at that point, the game already had a very major interruption that I want to address a little bit later. Then, a uh, player uh, and Turam launch a count, 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 count attack and uh, seemingly convert to make it 2-0 and finally get the points safe but and they counted in Germany 16 seconds before that handball uh, in the build up which they were arguing wasn't this too far going away uh, going too far back having seen it before yeah this is gonna be ruled out a handball cannot happen in the build up to a goal and was not given and then in stoppage time Lucas Ribeiro can equalize for Hoffenheim who maybe had more of the ball but definitely did not have more of the game and they get um, a point. Now the big scandal was that the Gladbach fans displayed a banner with having the target on the benefactor for Hoffenheim. I think uh, Didi Hopp is his name because they are against modern football. I read a lot about this. I mean with what just happened in Frankfurt, with all the hatred, basically uh, propagating the murder of a rich person, uh, propagating a murder, doesn't need to be a rich person, propagating a murder is just tone deaf to the highest degree. The manager and the um, uh, captain for Gladbach um, immediately went in front of the curve and try to calm it down, but I have to ask a question. Why is this getting into the stadium? How is this getting into the stadium? Uh, it doesn't shine a good light on the club, but also on the fans, and I know their minority still never should happen. Düsseldorf gets a surprising win at Freiburg 2-0, and probably even more surprising is the other destruction that Köln inflicts on Hertha. Hertha BSC is a, t a team that is now in complete crisis mode. 
caught up by the fourth, makes it 1-0. In the second, uh, in the 22nd, he makes it 2 0 and kinds, uh, with the help of the goalkeeper who saves it against the post and then goes via him into the net. But, uh, the original shot by kinds would have gone in, so they gave him that. Makes it 3 0 at the half in a half that Hertha didn't have any single shot on goal. Hertha tries, has maybe 15 minutes where they actually create chances and probably could have made a goal or so, but when kinds made it 4 0, Destruction was on. Wonderful go uh, free kick by Ut makes it 5 0 and give Köln a huge win. A pretty big win for the title hopes is also what Dortmund got. After a rather timid first half, they stepped it up. And remember, Dortmund lost in the cup to Bremen. But you know, the cup is something that Bremen can do well. The Bundesliga at the moment, they cannot do very well. And once Sagadu in the 52nd made it 1 0, there was only one winner. Haaland could have made it quickly thereafter uh, 2 0, but it took only until the 66 that Haaland gets his goal. Amazing form, he scores like crazy. The only complaint that I have is uh, he doesn't score many 1 0s or you know, equalizers and so on. Um, he usually takes the later goals. That's a little bit cheating in my opinion, but still. That's a very small complaint. Against PSG, he was the match winner. He scored important goals. Uh, so, uh, just an observation. I think he is probably here to stay. Uh, Bremen then has, but you know, Dortmund safely place, uh, places home. Uh, and then Schalke against Leipzig, the big game that everyone was kind of looking forward to. First minute, I mean, Leipzig had just this huge game at Spurs. First minute, Sabotza slams it into the net where, yeah, Newbert did not look good. Leipzig playing surprisingly in red jerseys, something that I haven't, I, don't, I, I didn't think that this is um, on their menu, but seemingly they have now red jerseys as well. Um, the game was largely dominated by Leipzig, but it took them a while. Uh, just when Schalke wanted to a little bit open up, Werner makes it 2-0, then Halstenberg in the 67th makes it 3-0, uh, Angelino gets, Linio gets his first goal, and Forsberg in the 80th and in the 89th, 5-0 for Leipzig. Utter destruction, has to be said. Leverkusen gets a 2-0 over Augsburg, Wolfsburg 4-0 over Mainz, and Frankfurt, after the big showing against uh, Salzburg. They go back to their uh, up and down form, losing 2 1 at home to Union Berlin. That's disappointing. If you look at the table, not much change except that Gladbach a little bit lost now the step. Have in mind, three points more. They have a game in hand. This was the one against Köln that was cancelled. They could be uh, ahead of Dortmund, but yeah. By an, a point ahead of Leipzig, then Dortmund 45 and Gladbach 43. With Leverkusen in there, Schalke, I think now we can say adios. I think the Champions League spot are among the top five. I don't expect Wolfsburg to get in there either. Uh, broad midfield relegation. I can see Hertha falling in there. The what Hertha has been showing, Hertha is to me relegation threatened. The threat, of course, is now more. Uh, Definitely with Bremen, who do not look good, and with Düsseldorf winning in Freiburg, does not look good, so there's now a three-point difference. Mainz is also kind of just hanging in there. Oh, it's going to be a big one, but I am afraid that Dortmund, uh, no, not Dortmund, that Bremen will actually go down, which would be a huge loss for the Bundesliga, I have to say. That's a team, in my opinion, that should be up there. Let's finish in Austria. The Saturday games are not much to write home about. Uh, the win by Tirol against Wolfsburg was surprising. Sturm with a win more or less secures their spot in the playoff. Then we have a nil between uh, Mattersburg and Altach. In the early games, Lask against St. Pölten. I actually, you know, Lask for the first time playing as a leader uh, in, the, in, in the table. I actually expect a kind of hard game because the game uh, was really tough in Alkmaar within... 15 minutes. I think after uh, the first goal was scored in the seventh, uh, within 15 minutes they were up 3 0, and that was the ball game. Uh, we don't need to discuss much more uh, there. Uh, was very calming in a way. The goal scorers were uh, Klaus in the seventh, then Balic, former St. Parton player, scores two. Uh, Muhammad uh, Begovic in the 19th, so within 20 minutes it was already 3 1. Uh, 
gets his first Bundesliga goal, um, but then Lask is, you know, not playing with full steam. They also sh um, did not play with the full line of the lineup, missing chances. Eventually, Hardom gets the fourth uh, one. But there was much more action. Hartberg, Rapid, Hartberg with a win would have also probably secured their spot in the playoff round. And um, they were behind. Then uh, equalized shortly before the half. They get the go ahead goal in the 74th. And then Rapid equalizes. And I have to say, given the other results, Rapid fans probably wouldn't have minded at that point. They would have loved the win, but the draw was not that much. Because with the draw, you keep Austria Wien in play. And Austria Wien, for once, showed fighting spirit. Twice down against Salzburg, and I don't know what Salzburg is doing. Dhaka in the 7th and the 70th, uh, especially the second one right after um, uh, Monchan had equalized for, Aus uh, for Austria. Uh, makes it 2-1, but just before, in the 89th, they get the equalizer, which keeps them in play. Had Rapid lost, Austria would be out of it. But so now, if we look at the table in Austria, we have Lusk 48 points. This is the second highest points total after 20 games in the history of the Austrian League. That is frankly amazing. Salzburg three points behind. Again, points get halved, so yeah, I see it more than one and a half points. Um, it is will it will be round run down so at the moment it would be a two point advantage. Then Rapid Wolfsburg kind of having a sh uh, bad showing now. Sturm and Hartberg most likely in the Austria only with outside chances. That was it. I'm gonna go watch Champions League now. Please let me know if you have anything to add to what I said in those three leagues that we have been talking about. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.